My name is Ryan Zeck. I'm an elite applications engineer out of Charlotte, North Carolina for Trimec. Today, I wanted to talk about SimExpress a little further. I actually always kid around that there should be a redo better button inside of SolidWorks. And today I want to talk about the, the, uh, the chance that it actually is in there. In fact, if you go to Simulation Express, there is a, uh, a little bit of a, a redo better button embedded in optimization. So if we go into Express products, Sim Express, and we start this up, it, it takes us through a little bit of wizard. And if you want to set your uh, options, your units, you can do that here and also set whether or not you want to see the max and mins. I'll also go to next. It asks us to load a or uh, put a fixture on our device. How are we going to hold this? I'll select those few faces there. And now I'll go to add a force. And I'm going to add that force to that face right there. And we'll do 600 pounds. And we'll go to next again. It realizes what my material is. So it brings that in automatically for me. I'll go to next. If I have only if I've set that in our in our model before we started the study. Let's go to run the simulation. Let's see what the factor safety is going to be for this model. And it is deforming as we would expect. Give us a nice little animation preview there. And it does have a factor safety of 0.83, which that's going to fail. So we want to actually find what dimension, maybe uh, maybe we change the thickness of this web to try to determine what the, the minimum factor safety of one, what that thickness would be. So we can go and say done reviewing results. This is the option where we can generate a report or also create an e-drawings file with these results. Let's go to next. Would you like to optimize your model? Holy cow. Let's take a look. Let's say next. And then it gives us the option there to select a dimension. And with that being said, now that dimension, I know that uh, 0.3125 isn't going to work. So we'll go to 0.32 and maybe have that go up to 0.6. Let's add a constraint. Make sure that our factor of safety is going to be greater than one. And then we'll minimize the mass as well. Don't just go up to the maximum value. And we'll go ahead and say run. So it's going to go through a, a possible scenarios of five and try to determine what dimension would work to make sure that we're at least over one when we do our final results for our factor of safety. And you can see here now our factor of safety is just over one and our optimal value for that dimension is 0 0.408 or 0 0.409 with some rounding. This is a, a great opportunity to um, check your models, make sure that they're going to work, but also make them better and make them match what you want them to be as far as your factor safety or your stress results. Until next time, happy designing.